All right, we're back. My name is Jesse, and today we're gonna stick with our uh, budget power station build. In the last video, we were able to mount our load center. Pretty happy with it, looks good. Uh, and we were also able to make a little box for our battery. I can literally run with this, uh, hand, this uh, hand truck and nothing moves at all. Uh, so, so far I'm pretty happy with how sturdy it is. Everything seems to be fitting very, very good. Snug, nothing's moving, nothing's wiggling around. But today we're gonna unbox the 6000 XT inverter. Hopefully we can get it mounted on here and um, take it for a spin. See how see how it looks. All right, let's get into it. All right, finally it's unboxed. Let's take a look inside. There we go. All right. Let's see, we got our PV inputs right here. Looks like these are like Some sort of like spring loaded, spring loaded kind of clamp that holds down your PV, PV wires. Uh, our generator input grade, our load that's, so when we hook up this to our, our two wheeler, our hand truck, we are gonna be using this uh, breaker here. These two wires are gonna feed our load center. two wires coming out of here and we're gonna either land them right here on this lug and this lug or we're just gonna pop in a breaker and then we'll we'll land our wires on the breaker you could do it a bunch of different ways but if you have a breaker there it kind of gives you gives you a nice little switch to de-energize that load center and then our battery terminals and then we got some uh, battery communication, and then I believe there's another another cable that we run to the inverter for communication. And then we got our neutrals and our grounds. So these are new. We'll see how these work. Already, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but who knows? It might work out. All right, just gonna do a voiceover for a couple of these clips because I just had it on time lapse. But I'm just cutting some Unistrut right here. Um, these two pieces of Unistrut that I'm gonna cut are for the, the they're gonna act as uh, mounts for the 6000 XP. The 6000 XP has two brackets, one on the top and one on the bottom. And in this clip, I think I'm just trying to measure exactly how far apart I need to make the mounts and from the brackets that are on the 6000 XP they're 26 inches apart so I just made the mounts roughly 26 inches apart all right in this next clip here we have the mount roughly where we want it i don't know if you could see it but the u-bolts they stick out too far and so when i try and put the bracket to the 6000 xp flush against the unistrut those bolts hit so i'm just trying to mark it here so i can take it all off and then cut off the the pieces that are too long
right, there's our unistrut. The U-bolts aren't sticking out anymore. They're kind of recessed inside the unistrut. And that now allows me to put the bracket to the 6000 XP flush against that unistrut. And all I'm doing in this clip, I think, is just kind of putting it all back together so we can try and put the bracket back on, see how it fits. All right, quick recap. Our Unistrut top mount is kind of semi-mocked where I want it. Uh, this bracket is off the 6000 XP. There's a bottom bracket here, and then the top bracket went here, but I just unscrewed it and used it just to kind of get a, a like a template of how big I needed to make this Unistrut. But I think this, this bracket, if it was like an inch or inch and a half bigger, it would work perfect, but it's too short. So well, the more I tighten that bolt, it just smashes this plastic kind of um, bushing on the nut. So <clears throat> I'm probably just gonna get like a, maybe a, a piece of steel like this, uh, maybe like an inch and a half or two inches, something like that. Just enough where uh, I can put it in front of this unistrut and then this plate will, this bracket will go against that plate that I put here. So that way, when I tighten this, it's not tightening against this plastic bushing, it's tightening against that, that plate of steel. Um, these U-bolts here that I got were just too long initially, so I just had to cut them a tiny bit so they could recess inside the unistrut uh, so the bracket could fit up against there. But everything seems to be fitting all right so far, but... I think we'll wrap this video up here because I need to get some more of these like small little one inch bolts and then I need to buy another like a one sixteenth or one eighth, one eighth piece of steel so I can put it in front of this here and then put the bracket and I should be able to probably mount this 6000 XP tomorrow. I just got to run to Home Depot Lowe's real quick and pick up some more of these screws, I think, and the that piece of steel, and that's kind of all I need. But uh, <clears throat> I think it's gonna wrap this one up. I'll see if I can pick up tomorrow. Run to Home Depot right now.